Hi, I'm Taylor Connor, and I did receive prior approval to use the stuff Husky we're using for our uh, application removal bandages. So, I'll go ahead and get started and uh, go over what we have. I've got a Telfa non-adherent pad here that's actually going to be applied first as a primary layer. And then as my tertiary layers, I've got the um, soft cast padding and my vet wrap. And then some tape, so we're going to be doing tape over the edges of that. I did go ahead and unroll the vet wrap just so that I'm making sure I'm not going to be applying it too tight and we've got some looseness to that. And I've got some bandage scissors for when I'll go ahead and remove it. So first I'm going to go ahead and apply this to where our wound would be. I'm just going to hold that right like that. I'm going to go ahead and start with my wrap here. Hold that just like that. Go around like this. This is going to provide some uh, cushion and what good pressure for our layer here. and apply our vet wrap. Now to help keep this in place, we are going to do some tape on the edges of the bandage and then a little bit on the fur as well, making sure that we have it good and covered up. And that way it's not moving up and down or anything like that. So I'm going to just like that, place it partially on the bandage, partially on the dog itself, and work my way around just like that. That way it's in place, but it's not cutting off circulation, it's not too snug. I'm going to do the same back here, making sure that we keep this in place and don't have any issues with the dog moving around or um, pulling this off at all. Just like that. All right, and as you can see, it goes all the way around. It's not too tight. It's not causing any discomfort to the dog. And then we'll go ahead and demonstrate the removal. So just start at the midline and cut just the top layer, our tertiary layers, and leave the vet wrap, or excuse me, leave the um, cast padding, and that we will unroll. Okay, go ahead and remove that. Great. This. We'll just unroll just like that. Okay. All right. Now I've got my primary layer right here. Um, if this was a real patient, we would want the doctor to go ahead and inspect the wound to make sure it's not having any more bleeding where we're needing to rewrap. Um, and make sure there's no swelling or redness or anything like that. And that's how we uh, do an application of an abdominal pressure wrap and removal.